Man, it looks like I'm going to have to be one of the few people that defends Arrow. Hey everybody, this is David, and today I'm going to be talking about Arrow, Season 4, Episode 19, Canary Cry. And in this episode, we got the team, Team Arrow, crying over Laurel. They're, they're going through these emotions, man, well, each of them, and trying to deal with Laurel's death because a lot of them don't want to believe it. And what did I think about this episode? Yeah, like I said, you know, Arrow's been getting a lot of flack lately. And last, the last episode, I really enjoyed. And I'm going to say, this one was really emotional. And I really enjoyed it even more than the last episode. And look, I'm someone who gets it. I, I get why some people are angry out there. They killed off a very iconic character who, let's admit, had a few... Uh, moments that a lot of fans were pretty angry about. There were a lot of people complaining that, you know, they were ruining the character of Laurel. And I don't know if that's the reason they killed her off, because I felt, uh, especially last season, in the second half of last season, um, actually, season three as a whole, she was pretty good. There were some moments where they dropped the ball. But in season two, I think, was Laurel's worst uh, season moments. Uh, but this, these last couple of seasons season three and four i felt laurel was being treated really well and i thought they were playing with her character uh, really nicely i i was really enjoying laurel especially in her last uh, couple of episodes she she was having some really great moments with her castmates and so when that happened last week i was surprised because i didn't think the show would go there and a lot of people now are speaking up about it and saying they should have killed off Felicity and even though I feel Felicity would have been a little bit too obvious I get why a lot of fans are mad I mean Black Canary once again is a very iconic character to the Green Arrow mythology but I don't mind when a show changes things up and they want to do things their own way now some people are feeling that you know this Felicity Oliver thing is the reason but the creators have already hinted recently that you know what just because laurel's dead doesn't mean oliver will end up with felicity so just remember to keep that in mind i mean that's why i'm holding out hope for maybe who knows maybe sarah can come back to the show we'll have to wait and see we don't know what's going on with the legends of tomorrow maybe she's still going to be on that show but let's get into this episode right now. So we see each of the characters, you know, going through their emotions. And not only that, we but we also have someone running out and dressed up as the Black Canary. And this really wrecks the team emotionally, especially Lance, who really takes it hard, hoping that it actually is Laurel somehow brought back from the dead. And unfortunately, it breaks him when he has to admit that it's not hit her it's not laurel laurel is still dead and it's some random girl masquerading a girl that kind of blames team arrow for not rescuing them when they were under dark's control uh during an episode that happened before the winter break and it was really hard seeing our team go through this go through the emotions and i'm gonna admit i i got a little teary-eyed in a couple of areas, specifically at Lance's breakdown and Oliver's speech at the end, I think were really well done. I thought this was a really nice uh, way to celebrate the Black Canary and saying goodbye to the character at the same time. If this is truly, uh, you know, the last time we're going to see Laurel on this show, then I think this episode really was satisfying in the way they... they sent off her character i really felt that they were really uh the flashbacks were really good in this episode too the flashbacks have been hit or miss for me this season when it takes place on the island they're, they're, I'll, I'll admit i think they're better than season three's flashbacks but this flashback not focusing on the island stuff going back to uh, after tommy died in season one it takes place a little bit right after that I thought they were really great moments between Laurel and Oliver, giving us a little bit of, of that relationship again. 
And uh, I, I think if you are a fan of Laurel, you should have been happy with this episode. That's just my opinion, though. I like the way Diggle had to deal with his anger issues. You know, he's been blaming himself. And he even has that big spat with Oliver, which was heartbreaking. Felicity is even blaming herself because she feels that if she didn't leave the team, that this wouldn't have happened. And she even has a little cry with Oliver. Oliver is like the one allowing everybody to cry on his shoulder. Even Lance. That scene with Lance, like I mentioned, was a fantastic scene. And seeing Lance break down and grab Oliver while trying to keep it together. And even when Lance tried to get uh, Nisa Al Ghul to help, you know, bring Laurel back. And even, you know, Nisa kind of brought a tear down. It was really heartbreaking seeing these characters trying to recover. And not only that, but trying to fix Laurel's image after what this fake Black Canary uh, was doing. You know, ruining Laurel's image. And then the thing that surprised me the most was letting the world know that Laurel was Black Canary or the media. And seeing the look on Laurel's mother's face... While they were at the funeral and seeing Quentin Lance broke down. Is she going, you know, it, it was really great. I thought this episode was well directed. There were some funny moments, like not inten not intentionally funny. There were some moments like when the cops, when when Oliver was at the, the party and he told that Black Canary to don't do this or else you're going to, you know, ruin the Black Canary's image or you haven't learned anything from her. And... Then when he's about, he uh, the mayor, Dark's wife, tells him to uh, tells the cops behind her stop him. They're all just like looking at him with their guns pointed at him, while Oliver's just zooming up. Like they don't even try shooting. They don't even try stopping him. There was there was there was another moment like that too where I was like, really, <laughs> but uh, you know, little nitpicks aside, I thought this was a really great episode, guys. I really enjoyed it, and uh, I don't know why people are hating on Era. I mean, I get that B episode. Maybe it was a little bit too much, although I had fun with that episode. And there was then the episode before that, which was kind of lame. Um, but these last two episodes, focusing on Laurel a lot, I thought were really well done. And uh, I don't know. I, I guess I'm one of the few that are going to defend Arrow on, on the decisions that they've been making these last two episodes. Uh, if there's anybody out there that enjoyed the episode, let me know. Comment below and tell me because I, I hope I'm not the only one out there that is enjoying Arrow this much. And uh, I guess until next week, guys, I hope you are still watching Arrow and you're with me on this. And like this video if you agree with me. Subscribe to my channel if you like Arrow, The Flash, or Legends of Tomorrow because I enjoy all three of them. Arrow's still cool and I hope... I just hope other people are still with it too and not giving up because a character that's important to the mythology has been killed off because uh, let's see what the writers do and the producers, you know, maybe this is a plan to make the show uh, really good again because remember some of the best moments of Arrow that a lot of people really loved were the moments with Arrow, Diggle and Felicity. Now, I'm not saying put Felicity and Oliver back in a relationship. I want them out of a relationship. We've had enough of that. But give us that core three Arrow team. And you know, something interesting dropped today. A new poster of Arrow with Felicity, Oliver, and Diggle on the poster. So could that mean we're going to get things back to the way they used to be with the uh, on the side, I guess? We'll have to wait and see. I'm very excited to see what the future of Arrow is going to hold now. Now that they've really shaken things up. I felt this was a really solid episode. And until next time, guys, I'm ending it here. Take care.